Hi YouTube, so I'm back with my, I don't know how many video. Today, what I want to tell or show a lot of people, they, 90% of social media knows how to do this and they do it all the time. But for the very um, lost or not necessarily less fortunate, but more so lost people out there. Today, I'm going to show you the art of catfishing, kind of. For some people, it's kind of. For some people, it's catfishing. But I'm not talking about catfishing like using other people's photos. We're going to catfish our own photos and fix our imperfections, make ourselves look better and more appealing or up to standard for social media today. So it's very well known that everyone on social media does this. And um, a lot of people don't really do it, but we're going to teach them how to do it today because they don't know. Now, if you look at my Instagram photos and you look at my face, you can tell I I've I Photoshop sometimes, you know, and I do color correcting. I do a lot. So I'm recording on my iPhone 11. This is my first time recording on it. So I'm kind of a little scared. The quality looks good so far. I love it. Then I kept my eight. So that gives me opportunity to kind of whatever that means. So right now I'm going to go and show you guys the apps that I use to go ahead and do the fishing of the cats. And for my aunts that watch my video, we not talking about seafood. I don't eat fish. I don't eat shellfish. And you guys know that. We're talking about scheming, scamming, whoever, whatever it is, the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone up here. So right here, as you can see, I have a folder for what I use. Now, I barely use the Polar app. It is a really good app though, but these are the main apps that I use for my photos. The Spark Post is what I use for my thumbnails and um, everything else for my YouTube channel content. So we're going to start off by taking a photo of Invisco because I like it to be as if I was taking a photo on the regular camera, but I don't like when it flips. So let's go ahead. We're going to just adjust it and, you know, get a look. We have a little bit sunlight coming in here. So it's perfect because I have redness around my eyes and like, this is one of my worst days. I have redness around my eyes. I have my skin texture, I got bad. I recently just moved from California to another state. So my skin is getting used to the environment. And so I have breakouts, eyebrows are messed up, but Let's put this on pause really quick. So we're going to go ahead and um, first, I forgot what I'm going to use on my eyebrows really quick. I did wash my face. That's why there's was redness around here because I washed my face with like a quate and stuff and I use a lot of chemicals. So I'm going to be debating really quick on which I should use. So right now I'm definitely going to use this Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't think you can see it, but yeah, I'm going to do what the, the beauty uh, gurus do.
the shit. I have bushy eyebrows, so we're gonna go ahead and take some of this clear brow gel and just tame my eyebrows really quick. Cause we cannot be looking too much of a mess. And I have two different shaped eyebrows, so I have to have this one go up and then just brush the ends. And then this one, I could just go straight back. People are always saying, let me do your eyebrows. Let me do your eyebrows. No, don't think about it. Leave my eyebrows alone. Don't worry about your ingrowns. I know it's clear brow gel, but going to get my eyelashes a little bit too. I don't use mascara ever. I have long eyelashes. Like, they're okay. Oh my God. <laughs> to figure out where a target is. There's one that's in the same zip code as me, but I don't know where it is. You guys are probably like, what is he doing? I don't know, you tell me. We're gonna go over to Stosh a little bit. Once again, we're catfishing social media. Going to continue um, the debate of seeing which one we want to use. Have some moisturizer, moisture, moisture, surge lip hydro pump treatment from Clinique. Right here, I discovered what this was when I worked at Macy's, and I got a sample of it. And this thing is amazing. It has hydraulic acid in it, and so does this. This is a Too Faced Hangover. Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. This stuff you put on at night before you go to bed, or you can wear it throughout the day if you want. I don't care, but this stuff right here works really good, and I love them both. But since it's not night, and we're going to just be, you know, doing catfish really quick, I don't want to use too much of this up because I would have to order some offline, and... I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and use the Clinique. Oh, I never really rub this stuff in. As you can tell, I'm almost out because I use it so much every day. I take about this much and I put it on each lip. I know that might be a little excessive, but you know, it's okay. It's my lips. Okay, now we need the top lip. You know, my man said he loves when he sees glossy lips. You know, got to make him happy, right? <laughs> so, here we go. That's it. So now we're going to go back to the camera on my phone. Let's continue. Okay, so now that we're back over here, we're gonna go ahead and go to Visco and take a picture. So, let's go. Now, let's find some, some good lighting, which we have good lighting. Let's, let's see. Okay, took a few shots. Now we're gonna go through and pick. Now, I know you guys are probably like, whoa, his eyes are bad. My eyes are sensitive. My eyes are really sensitive to everything and they say don't put things in the right eyes, but I don't listen and this is what I get for it. So we're going to go through and through go through. Mm -mm. We're going to go through and pick one of these photos right here. So, let's see. Hmm. I like this photo right here. 
and mm, let's see which other photo. Mm. I think that's the only one I like. So, as you can tell, my scene is pretty perfect for what I want to do. So, we're going to go ahead and escape to camera roll. Okay, now we're going to go to Photoshop Fix. This is where I'm going to go get rid of a lot of marks and imperfections. So, it'll excuse that picture. As you can tell, I use this app a lot. Access your photos, yes. And then we're going to go ahead and ex these are the photos that I have on my phone. Wendy, because she's iconic and there's me and my waist trainer. So we're going to pick the one that I want. Now, this photo is going to go from bad to pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to healing. So we're going to get rid of these marks. And I only really taught like two other people how to do this. And one was Fran and the other one's my sister. So I have like a lot of white heads. I should really go um have someone give me a facial because Maybe because my environment is different, I should switch up my routine or whatever. But yeah, I'm not really sure on how that's going to work. So right now I'm just getting rid of all of the marks. Oddly, I want to keep this. I don't want to really do too much on it. And let's see. Mm. I think that should be okay for now. So now we're going to go ahead and click the check mark at the bottom, click share, and save the camera roll. I would usually just go ahead and export to the next app, but Facetune won't let me do that. So we're going to go home. We're gonna to go to Facetune. And this is one of the other kind of photos that I just so happen to get rid of. So, we're here now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, now we're going to start out by smoothing. So, we're going to smooth out this a lot. Okay. And sometimes I don't like the smoothing to look too smooth. So I think this would be fairly okay, but we're going to bring it down just a little. And right there is perfect. So our lips look, I don't even know. So we're going to go ahead and smooth these out. Smooth. but we're not gonna do it too much. And as you can tell, I have a lot of product on my bottom lip. Well, but that's okay. And right now, my hand is lighter than my face. Why? Well, it seems okay here, but I don't know. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So, after that, I would usually detail the eyebrows and the little mustache and all that, but we already kind of have that detail. So I'm going to just do the little, little beard hairs and a little, just a little on the stash. But it's not too much. Get up here. Then I also get my eyelashes. And I noticed my eyes really irritated right there. But the fact that it's irritated, it's okay. I'm not worried too much about it. 
but this is just a tutorial. My eyes gonna be irritated. I'm not gonna post this. And what else do we need to do? So as you can tell, the background is not the best. We're going to, let's see how this shirt comes out if I do live rinse on this shirt. Hmm, it's okay. So we're going to go to widen. My eyes are okay. So we don't want this yellow background that I'm in, okay? <laughs> so we're going to widen this up. I chose the perfect day to do this video because of everything that's going on with me as far as the skin irritation and everything. You're having a bad day, you can still look good on Instagram, so. You know. I don't have the pink eye, oh my god. I don't have the coronavirus, so please, <laughs> don't think. Okay, so it's not like, like you see the difference. So even though it still looks dingy back there, I think this is okay. About right there. So we went from this to that quickly. Now we're going to go ahead and see the difference. The skin texture, the beard, and everything is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, now we're going to make our durag stand out a little bit with glow so as you can see when I touch it, it gets more redder so there we go let's see that's it right there so we're done we're going to go ahead save and I'm going to just just post it temporarily. So let's go to Instagram. And this is my Instagram. I also follow a king right here. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. He looks great. But here's my page. And going to go ahead and post. Catfish 101. And yes, I have a spam page. <laughs> so that's going to be up there temporarily. Then I'm going to take it out because look at that eye. Ooh, baby. Crazy. Okay. And that's me. I was so adorable, right? But if you don't, this is my Instagram. Go follow it. I don't have that many followers. Um, my website is not Pornhub.com. I just sometimes I want people to have my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and put that put that link in there. Mm -hmm. So it's youtube.com. There. That's my YouTube channel. There you have it. And go ahead and follow. Follow, follow, follow. This was a pretty um quick and easy tutorial on how to catfish but a lot of people like to use this google editing app i can't remember what it's called but it's really good if you go into google and look at the apps you'll find it. it has like a little green leaf but this is this is really good to use for like a lot of people who just have like imperfections all over and they 
want to like, I guess you could say feel better or, you know, just post on social media and get a little bit of attention. If they're attention seekers, like I'm a little bit of an attention seeker, you must give me attention sometimes. A lot, I want you to leave me alone, but that's what you guys would pretty much um, want to do. And that was quick and easy tutorial. That's all you need to use. And that's all you need to know. Don't stress over anything too much. Just do you. And if anyone judges you about it, doing this, tell them to, tell them to go F off. Because everyone does it. And everyone's not perfect. And it mainly be the Android users who Snapchat stories look like security camera videos. And the same people that bought at 20 and catch the flu. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching my my oh so wonderful tutorial on how to catfish 101. And please be careful out there. Coronavirus is heavy right now. Wash your hands. Sanitize your hands. Stay indoors. Don't let your kids out too long, too much or too long. Um, be really, really careful. And it's not hard to grab a paper towel or a napkin and use it to open and close the bathroom door because it's nothing to play with right now. And it's something you really want to look out for. And that's part of the reason why I've been staying indoors because one, I don't know the area I'm in. Two, I don't want to catch that. And I've been trying to be really cautious because I moved out here and I've been getting sick on and off. So if you could tell if you could hear it right now, I'm a little stuffy. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and be careful and stay clean.